Welcome to another edition of Tom's Paris Hall. I did come back, not, not that recently, a couple weeks ago now, from Disneyland Paris. We've been very busy covering Avengers Campus and the Disney Wish and uh, lots of new stuff around the world. So uh, it's taken a while to get to this, but hopefully uh, you're going to enjoy this as we take a look at not only some more 30th anniversary goodies, but of course... Avengers Campus open, so we've got all my Avengers Campus stuff now in the latest edition of Tom's Paris Hall. Okay, let's get into it. I got this bag, really heavy bag of small stuff. Let's start cranking through this. Uh, this is a wallet. Um, I was, I put this back and the person I was with was like, but it's one of the few things that says Avengers Campus Disneyland Paris. There was a lot of stuff that is just stuff you can buy in California Adventure. There was a lot of shared stuff. There were a handful of things that said Disneyland Paris. This was one of them. So I don't know. I felt, I felt compelled. It's a, I mean, it's a wallet. There's not anything really exciting going on in here. I mean, the ta I like that they got special tags. I like that. But, um, I mean, it's, it's got a button, and it has, again, the A, and it says, yeah, it's really not that interesting. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Phantom Manor uh, lanyard pouch. Cool, cool uh, backer card for that. thought that was fun. Avengers Assemble Flight Force has its own pin, so obviously those are exclusive to Paris, so I had to get those. These are open edition. There's Iron Man, who's in the attraction. We've got... These are going to be all out of order. Here's an... Ex this is a two-pack is only in Paris. This has the Quinjet and... Uh, well, it's two Quinjet pins. The silver Quinjet pin actually says Disneyland Paris. I'm going to try to turn that so you can see it, maybe. There we go. Um, so these are not pins that are in California, so I bought them. That's a set, so let's let's keep going with the campus stuff. There's a tiny button set. It says Paris, so I wanted to get that. There's just a logo pin. There's a, a more vague logo pin. I, I tend to think this is, I gotta compare this to the California pin. This might be pretty similar. I don't know, I bought it just in case. Not, I mean, I always know people that would happily want it. So, you know, that's the, that's why it's okay sometimes to buy duplicates of things. Um, so they've got some different uh, web slinger. Well, it's not, it's Spider-Man web adventure there, but web slingers are Spider-Man adventure DCA. So there's a spider bot pin. This one's different from the DCA one because it has the different building from Paris. So there's the web building as it exists at Walt Disney Studios Paris with Spider-Man. Keep, keep digging. Lots of pins. Got some lanyards. I know I jumped to Phantom Manor. All out of order. Um, got this cool reversible web lanyard. So it says we have web, Worldwide Engineering Brigade. The other side has those web in, or I guess it's web industries. The logos uh, on the other side. Spider-Man's on this side of the lanyard. But the the part that sold me was this stupid plastic tag, which says "Open House Paris" and has this fake, uh, the fake like chip in it for identification. I thought that was fun. There's the main logo pin for Avengers Assemble Flight Force. You can watch the full video of that ride, both rides, right here on our channel if you want to check them out. We also have a video where I eat at all the restaurants in the entire land. I want to check that out too. I'm going to try to just do Avengers Campus first here. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, there was this neat rubber keychain. Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Web Slinger. It's the name of the vehicle. Expert. This is Wet Expert Web Slinger. I don't know if I am, but... I thought this was cool. I love my weakness, my greatest weakness in theme park merchandise is fake organizations. So web qualifies. Like I'm not the biggest Avengers Campus fan, but web web falls under imaginary, you know, organizations, so I have to have it. Here's the other 
Avengers Assemble Flight Force pin with Captain Marvel. And then I have, this was the uh, pre-opening pin. We had to go to Hotel New York to get this prior to the land opening. So this was like the, uh, they had a pre-opening pin at DCA too, funny enough, a couple of months before the land opened. Um, so I, being the completionist, I was like, it'd be cool to have both of the countdown pins. And so now I do. What else we got here? We've got, the grand opening pin's pretty sweet. Um, so it's Iron Man flying over the campus. They didn't put a date because the date kept moving. Um, we well documented on the site how they kept having delays. Um, but eventually they made it. It has the right year, which is great. <laughs> Glad they got that. Let's see what else we got here. Katie, this is the part you can edit out. Just keep it, keep it, keep the show tight. Don't need to see me rummaging through pins. Okay, so that's it for the Avengers Campus pins. That's all of them. Um, let's do some 30th anniversary. This is the button they'll give you at the resorts. It's supposed to be only for kids, but cast member, nice cast members keep giving them notes. So I'm glad, I'm glad to take them. They're very cute. There's a 30th button. Um, so you may remember last time uh, when we did the haul video for Paris, they were sold out of a lot of 30th stuff. It's been a very popular event. So there were lots of just open edition things I couldn't get. Like, just the castle logo pin with the dangle. I couldn't get this last time. It was sold out. But thankfully, this time, a lot of stuff was back in stock. So I got my castle logo pin. We got, we got Mickey with the 30th logo. We got Chip and Dale with the 30th logo. The only one that was there last time was Goofy. Goofy was the only one I could get last time. I think I'm still missing some characters, though, in fairness. I think... I think there's still no Donald. I don't know who else they made. I assume there was a mini. Um, so still, still can't get all of them. Maybe next time, we'll see what happens. Um, I think as they're moving stuff out of the Disneyland ho uh, uh, hotel, well, I think it got moved out a while ago. Um, this is a pin from there of the clock on the hotel building. Of course, the hotel currently being, uh, going through a major renovation. Um, so I found this, and I, uh, this is the coolest pin. That clock is amazing. Greet you as you come to Disneyland Paris on this unique backer card. It's got this great gold uh, embossed uh, version of the hotel at the bottom. It's a great pin. Okay, now I think we got some collections here. Let's do the, so there was a Chip and Dale collection, um, which started with this, which doesn't really tie into the set. Um, I don't really know what's happening here. I, I guess it's sort of like a rickshaw, but there's no wheels. So like, I don't know. Dale is, is carrying Chip around in this wheelless rickshaw, which can't be easy. It, it, it was so bizarre I had to have it. I was like, I don't have any pin that looks like this. I've stopped buying a lot of pins here in the US because I'm like, at this point, I've been doing this for 20 something years. Some of them are starting to look the same. And at that point, I'm like, I'm not going to buy things that look like stuff I have already. Um, and this is clearly something that does not look like anything I have already. That's now the determining factor. The cool thing that I was there for was they released a series of Chippendale Rescue Rangers pins. But they're not known as Chippendale in France. They're known as Tic Attack. So it's Tic Attack. What is it on the bottom? Le Ranger de Rescue. <laughs> um, I love this. This is this is the most fantastic pin. I had to I had to have it. There's also a cute one of the two of them together, and then a really cute set of the two of them separate. Two pins on the card. It's great. Who doesn't love Rescue Rangers? Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I bought a lot of Rescue Ranger. A lot of people ask me for Rescue Ranger. 
Um, people said this was sold out in case you missed it on the last haul video, which you can always go back and watch. Um, Walt's uh, restaurant is still uh, doing this pin that you could buy if you dine there, which has the 30th logo and the Walt's logo, which is great because they turned 30 and this was a really cool thing they did. The next thing we're going on to Big Thunder. I think I had some of these last time, but not all of them. Some came back in stock. Um, they've been doing these fantastic attraction open edition sets. Um, and this is one of the Big Thunder. So you have Chip and Dale in a mine cart, but then also Stitch. You have Stitch here. I think he blew up something in the mine and is now escaping in a mine cart. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so Pirates of the Caribbean, there's a whole series. Look at this really cool silver pin. Isn't that great? All 3D sculpted. Um, and then if, you know, it, what I like is the series varies, right? So this is, if you're not a big character person, you just like the ride, you can get this. But then there's a whole bunch of really cute character pins. There's Chip and Dale in the jail cell, uh, the jail scene. How great is that? You've got Stitch with Scrump. And then you got Pirate, Pirate Goofy. Uh, and to go along with that, we have a lanyard. That's the other thing. They always get a lanyard and a pouch and four pins in this series. So there's the, we got our card at the bottom with the logo from the flag outside the ride in Paris. Nice big logo on that side. And it's two-sided. What's great is one side has characters and one side I think doesn't. Yeah, so if you don't like characters, there's this side. And if you do like characters, well, you've got Chip and Dale as pirates on this side. How great is that? Love it. All right. Tower of Terror. Again, this is another series where I think I had all of them except like one. Um, so here's an actual pin of the tower with the logo. And then I had to get this really cool lanyard. I'm gonna try to get it the right way. There we go. So the card at the bottom, Hollywood Tower Hotel. Uh, and then the lanyard itself has, Stitch has, Stitch has done something. <laughs> Stitch has disconnected, I'm trying to get this right. Stitch has disconnected the elevator in some way. The elevator's falling. There's the HTH logos repeating subtly. And then the other side has the nice big full logo. Disneyland Paris is on these too, which makes them nice and unique. That's what we like. We like unique product. Oh, here's a 30th item we missed. There's a 30th lanyard as well. Mickey and Minnie on it. And then uh, untangle this a bit. There we go. Uh, this side has... Mickey and Minnie, the castle, Tinkerbell, 30 Years of Magic, and then the back just has the 30th logo repeating. All right. I showed this last time, but um, oh, well, one of the, or a couple of these last time. They didn't have the whole set. Um, so there's Phantom Manor pins. So we'd stitch with the singing bus, which is just an amazing, it's a pretty big pin too. Uh, then you have Goofy as a, as a host or butler at Phantom Manor, and then Chip and Dale, for some reason, have taken on the role of Madame Leota. I love it, though. It's great. Okay. Last but certainly not least is It's a Small World. So first of all, we have this Chip and Dale two-pack of them in the UK. We have the logo with the facade, the colorful, interesting facade with the half moon and sun face, which is uh, solely a Paris thing. And then Stitch has decided to be a French dancer girl in front of the Eiffel Tower. Ooh la la. Okay. Uh, and last but not least from this tiny bag, uh, the Euro Disney 1992 collection came out uh, between trips, and so, you know, I love vintage anything, right? Especially if something changed names, uh, it's one of those theme park things, right? Oh, it has the old name on it. Um, so this is a keychain. 
Very cute. I guess I bought some t-shirts, but I already started wearing them, so they're not here. So you can see them on the site, though, if you want to see t-shirts. I'm going to throw all this stuff in the bag. Okay, on to the big stuff. Here we go. We talked about the Euro Disney 92 collection being a thing. So Rebus, we've talked about this before too, Rebus Brothers do, goes really above and beyond uh, in Paris. They always have really great stuff. Um, their merchandise change a lot more often than it does here for that matter. So this is just a glass plaque. I, don't ask me to tell you what it is. It's just a glass plaque. Um, they had trouble understanding when we asked her because we figured like, I don't know, we. What used to be a big thing were like tickets encased in glass or lucite. That used to be a big thing in the 80s and 90s. And so I think we just assumed we're like, oh, it must be like a ticket. So we were like, glass ticket. And they're like, what? <laughs> eventually, eventually she found the proper French word for this thing. Um, just like any, if you go and custom order something from Rebus or whatever, um, you'll get this little stand. So I have something that... Um, Several years ago, some people that came to WW Celebrations events got us all like a little 10-year plaque. They have these same little stands. Um, I don't know. I thought this would be great. Like, I'm going to do a whole Euro Disney shelf somewhere in the apartment. And this will look really great in the middle, right? I wish I had things like this for every, like, little collection of display. Really well. For the museum now open here at WWNT Celebration which you can come see if you come to one of our events or to uh, one of our Thursday News Tonight filmings, our live studio audience for the show. People are always, their minds are blown when I tell them that we have a live studio audience. This is a full studio with an office and a museum space. It's a pretty, it's a pretty wild place here, WWT Celebration. All right, now we're gonna make Jake super happy because I have something that opens up and is very big. <laughs> we're gonna see if it fits on screen. Uh, this, like I said, there was very little Avengers Campus merchandise that was exclusive. This was one of it, and man, did they go above and beyond with this idea. Um, and man, uh, so you may remember, uh, in California, they eventually did like Magic Key uh, pass holder giveaways with the map, uh, the, the sort of fake map of what the land used to be when, when uh, Howard Stark developed it. So they have a different version of the map in this land, and you can buy it in this really cool SSR envelope. Uh, what's great is the back has all this cool writing and such on it. Howard Stark's on there. Uh, Peggy's on there, Agent Carter. Um, they have, like, the date, which is July 17th, 1955, the opening of Disneyland, of course. This is super cool, and it's like a real manila folder, and you get to, we're going to open it. Let's open it up. And inside you'll find this big poster. Again, which is gonna be the map, which you'll find, in this case, you'll find it in the, in the queue of uh, web adventure. We could also just put up a picture of this. Um, I could just show it here, I guess. There you go. Whee, there you go. <laughs> it's very big. <laughs> So our good friend, former Imagineer Jim Scholl, actually did this. Um, so I'm going to have him sign it next time I see him. But uh, it's cool. I wish the magic... I appreciate that we got them as magic key holders. That was a nice gift. I wish they were of a similar size. It'd be cool to do a whole... Not that I have wall space left. But it would be cool to do, like, a whole wall of them. Of all these, like imaginary blueprints and I could pepper in like some real blueprints from some Disney parks rides that I own. That would be, that would be pretty sweet. Put it back in its little holder that just falls off. It was so hard. So I had to dig through like a stack of these, these, this holder thing just either falls off or rips off. And I'm very meticulous about things. And obviously I was bringing some of these back for people too. And so I was like, I gotta, you know, if I'm gonna give this to them, I gotta have the whole thing. So we dug through that stack for a little while before finally got a good one. Okay. Statues. 
So you may remember we had a pair of 30th anniversary statues on the last hall. Uh, the series is continuing to be released, and so we have more of them, two more in the series. Thank you to the very patient cast members at Lily's Boutique on Main Street who opened many of these to find ones without damage. Harder to find than you think. This one's great. This might be my favorite of the four so far. All right. Donald Excalibur. Uh, so it is Donald with the sword and the stone uh, in Fantasyland. Of course, 30th anniversary series, all the characters are in uh, the 30th colors. Chip and Dale are also with this one, uh, having a good time watching Donald, trying to pull the sword out. Obviously, he's not going to succeed at that. Maybe we can go on this one and show a little detail, maybe? Yeah, sure. You can see Chip and Dale, at least, a little clearer. These are great. These are about, I think these are like 60 euros. We're annual pass holders, so it was less than that. Um, they're re No, it's fine. It's fine. They can, they can see him. There he is. It's great. I'll give it a turn. Very nicely detailed. They're about 60 euros, cheaper with the annual pass. Um, they're great. I wish... I mean, we did a fair amount of statues for the 50th here in Florida. That's fair. I was about to say I wish we had more, but we have, we've had a good amount of them. Got my country bears, that's all that matters. As long as they made some country bears. All right. He survived the trip. Yeah, this one, so there are, there's a little pain in perfection. That's why you really gotta look at these, but this was still the best one I could find. I just wanted to make sure I got one. But um, because they're hand painted, you'll notice there's a lot of, <sighs> a lot of little things here and there that maybe could be better, but. I think he'll fit in this shot if I put him down. There we go, look at that. Uh, it's Mickey in the Autopia car. Specifically the Paris Autopia for their 30th. They have a different style car than anyone else has, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, we talk all about this. There's an episode of Timekeeper where we talk all about the Autopia. Our, our history series on the 30th anniversary of Paris, you check that out. I'll tell you all about why these fins are a cool thing, all these cool details. Um, you see Disneyland Paris 30th on the bottom. Mickey's in the car, driving. Very cute. And time to go back. Okay. Um, I stopped buying puzzles because I don't always do them. Um, but then I saw this one. I was like, I would actually do this. I'm going to sit and do it. Um, it's the... Fun map. So they also sell the map for like, it's real cheap. I think it's like 12 bucks, the actual map that unfolds you can hang, which is a great souvenir. I love that there is a puzzle version for the 30th. Uh, this just seems so much fun. Like I, I know the, the parts around the map or just the yellow are going to be real tough, but I think the, I don't know, with the border and, and figuring out where each piece goes in each land, I think this will be a lot of fun. It's a thousand pieces. I'm looking forward to, looking forward to doing them. All right, this has already been used, so the tag's off of it, but this is uh, Avengers Campus. It says Disneyland Paris Backpack, which I thought was pretty sweet. I like the big embossed Avengers A on there. It says Paris, you can show off to people. I wore, of course I brought it on the Wish. Tell people, gotta show off, I was just at Disneyland Paris on top of now being on this brand new cruise ship. Uh, the cool thing is it has the, the USB thing here. So you can run a charger inside and then the wire just on the outside, which is pretty cool. So there's a whole, inside there's a whole long USB wire to run to a charger, laptop sleeve. It's a pretty, it's, 
You know, sometimes the park backpacks don't feel like real backpacks. They're a little thinner and maybe a little shoddier than a backpack you use every day. This one feels like a real, like, school backpack. It feels like something you'd buy for, like, 50 bucks in the store. And that's what it was. And I was like, that seems reasonable. It says Paris. It's opening line. Feels like a cool thing to buy. And I'll actually use it. I do always have a backpack in the park, so it'll see a lot of use. Now for things that won't see use. <laughs> this is a big metal sign of the Quinjet. Again, this is a Paris exclusive item. It's called a print on metal plate. Uh, this was 70 euro. Again, because it was exclusive to Paris, I was like, that would be, that would be neat. Um, you know, there's something cool about, you know, I've traveled halfway around the world to the opening of a new land. This item's only there. Who knows how long it's gonna be there. Uh, it's pretty cool. This will display well. Again, I act like I'm going to put this up, but this would display really well with the blueprint, right? That'd be really cool. I'm never going to have wall space for that, but it would be it would be neat. Try to lean that there for a moment. There we go. So the one you've probably seen already because we had it on the desk for the review is the concept art one. We'll show it on this camera. Um, so this is another print on a metal plate. Um, it's shiny, which is, it, the shiny finish is nice. They did this also with like Galaxy's Edge and a, they had something similar. It was framed though. Paris decided to go the unframed route. This does come with a little plastic stand, which is great. So it'll just sit on a desk or a table. Um, but it's cool. Con who doesn't want to have concept art? Concept art is beautiful. Looks better than the real thing, honestly. <laughs> Often concept art does. Let's dig into the bag. We got more Euro Disney stuff. We've got a pennant. Man, I love pennants. So we got a vintage Euro Disney pennant, just like the one they used to sell back in the day. We got the Euro Disney 1992 ears. I mostly bought, I'll show this on the super zoom. You'll see the detail. On, on the bow, there's the original art of sort of the lands. So they're little, uh, little representations of each land, right? There's the castle, there's adventure land, with the, each land with their icon, which this was like the only item in the line that had it, which I think is why I ended up buying it. Um, no, I'm not gonna wear it. So yeah, I just bought it because I thought it was cool and it'll, it'll live in a bin probably. <laughs> More Disney Wish stuff. How did this happen? All right. On to the next thing. I think we got some mugs. So this mug, if you've been to California Adventure, probably looks familiar, but Paris Workshop. So yeah, it's the same mug they sell in California. I don't think I've, I don't think I ever bought it in California, um, but it said Paris. So I was like, ah, I've always looked at it and thought it was kind of cool. So why not get the slightly cooler Paris version, right? It is cooler, right? The less, less, you know, less people in the U.S. Disney fandom have been to the international park. So there's, there's like this, this cool edge to picking up, you know, when you. You got to get some stuff that say where that says where you've been, right? You got to get some street cred when you go to these places. So um, this is really cool. This is the grand opening mug. Um, apparently, with a hot beverage, this will all you'll see all of this, um, which I think is just some like. Oh, it's the buildings. Oh no, it's a bunch of the Avenger icons. So uh, Black Panther icon, Captain Marvel, all those little. The little insignias of each hero, you can kind of see it there, right? Yeah, there you go, in the light, you see the A. Um, the buildings are there underneath the campus opening text. The other side, we have Iron Man, and it tells you on the inside of the mug that, yes, it does do something with hot liquid inside of it. And the next mug. Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel uh, hero, always was as a kid. No surprise, I think it's the same for a lot of people. 
Um, so this is a web mug. There's not even a similar version of this one in California, at least yet. Um, it says expert web slinger on it. Uh, and it's specifically branded Disneyland Paris underneath. But I thought it was cool that inside the web logo is in there. It's a pretty cool mug. Get near the bottom, I think. So this is uh, this is neat. This is a poster and stickers, giant color poster with 100 stickers to decorate it. I don't know which this camera probably. Um, it's 70, 100 by 70 centimeters, and you see the art there. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's this interesting representation of Disneyland Paris. Um, it has the Gardens of Wonder uh, statues. It has characters as Phantom Manor, the castle. Um, yeah, Small World, the Millennium Falcons up there. It's in, it's in some wild colors, but uh, a similar Disney World set of art was made too for the 50th. Um, so I kind of wonder if they're going to do every park in this style at some point, but this is, this is a fun activity. It comes colored, uh, but you have to put the stickers on yourself. So I guess all these characters probably are not applied already, and then you can put them on. Is this the last item? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Um, so they did a purchase with purchase, speaking of cheap bags. <laughs> there was a purchase with purchase where you can get this for just 15 euros. This. Avengers Campus duffel bag. Just like the heroes use. No one will ever know you're a superhero with your Avengers Campus logo bag. Duffel bag. It's, it's just a duffel bag. But I thought it was cool for... It's got this shiny, sort of iridescent finish, kind of rainbow in the light. Um, it was half price if you bought a certain amount. And obviously, I bought a certain amount of stuff. So, I was able to get this cool bag. There you go. Very cool. All right, well, that's going to do it for our Paris haul. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think about the show. And uh, we'll be back with more from Tokyo, the Disney Cruise Line, Disneyland Paris, and so much more in my next haul. <laughs>